All right, and hopping into the next week of Colts franchise. We're getting these out because I want to get to the next season and I want to get to the off season, whether it's the playoffs, whether it's just going straight to the off season and seeing what pick we're at, things like that. I'm just trying to get to it as fast as possible. But right now we're three and six facing a three and six Patriots. We are going to be going into the bye week after this. So I have to keep that in mind in terms of how much we want to play or who we want to play in general. I know that we still have some injuries going on on the team i think shaq leonard is still out still a foot fracture so he's going to be out two more weeks and jack witt who really wasn't much of a impact in terms of his injury but now as we are three and six facing the new england patriots in foxborough who we got some things to worry about. We do have some things to worry about. We'll take a quick look at players to negotiate. I know I did just look at it yesterday in terms of when you're seeing this. Isaiah McKenzie would be nice. That would just drop me a good amount that I'm not trying to do right now. Also, depending on where we end up being in the draft. That's also another situation. That also is another situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty comfortable with who we have on the team right now and then dealing with the offseason when it comes. But we'll take a little bit of a deeper look at the college players. We probably looked at the wrong people in terms of the focus scouting because I was expecting to win more games rather than lose. But we should be able to get a good amount from LaMichael Groves, playmaker, Still has some good physicals going on right now. A medium route, a short route. His catch in traffic is a C, but he's supposed to be... Oh, he's a playmaker. He's not physical. So he might be the option. He might be the option at a UF, a Florida Gator. Um, a cornerback wouldn't hurt either. A cornerback wouldn't hurt. He also has good physicals. B press, A zone coverage. Not bad options right now. Not bad options at this moment. Uh, Tyree Loud also could be a situation that we go with. It's a lot of players in the top that we can go with, except for the QB. The QB is not somebody that we're trying to look at in any way, shape, or form. But now we have to get into the weekly strategy, which has Mac Jones and us defending the medium pass. I don't know why they're trying to go at the weakest point of their passer rating instead of going for like something like the deep pass maybe. Um, I'm gonna go with the deep pass again. It seems to work for us most of the time. I mean, last game was just a bad ending. It was a very bad ending in general. So we just have to move on from it. Kyle Duggar, throw it medium. I don't mind it. Faster reaction to the short pass. It's not gonna have much of an impact regardless. I have to make sure that none of my players get too fatigued at this point. But that's okay. And now, well, actually, we'll get into the weekly game plan first. I want to be able to do something good with Anthony Richardson this week. But at the same time, I still want to develop Jonathan Taylor. And five plus rushing touchdowns would be nice. It would be. It would be. Or we can just go with the 200 plus rushing yards. That would also help. I'm going to go with that. Allow 20 points or less. I'm going to go 14. I don't think that the Patriots are going to do that great against us. And we'll go 350 offensive yards. And sure, that'll be like the big the big one that we go after on that one for sure. And then when get into these drills right now is that was a pretty quick start to the episode. But we have some things to talk about. So I hope you guys are going to be enjoying these frequent franchise videos i'm just trying to get these out as fast as possible since i am a little behind in terms of the season and just everybody else that is already basically in their second season and almost finishing their second season i want to be there as well so i have to fast pace this you might be seeing this wow julius brent's way to jump that route but you might be seeing this very frequently and maybe even on the weekend if i'm able to get the recordings done and get the uh editing done on time I still don't want to just force content out for you guys, but at the same time, I want there to be content for you guys to watch because that has been slacking lately. But 
other than that, the Monday Night Football game just finished in terms of the 49ers and the Vikings, and it was an entertaining game. It was an entertaining game, to say the least. I mean, that should not have been a catch. The 49ers, you can tell that they do need their players that got injured, which means like Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey was Christian McCaffrey, but he could have probably had some more rest. I think they could have went these next two weeks without Christian McCaffrey and try to focus on that route is burning us right now. Oh my gosh. But they could have gone the next two weeks without Christian McCaffrey, possibly. I think they would have been fine. Um, they maybe not per, not entice the injury. Sorry, I can't even think straight right now because I just finished watching the game. But it gets us back to silver. We're probably going to jump into the Josh Downs drills right now. And that's going to be mine. Oh, I thought we were going to jump to gold, but that's okay. We'll take silver for right now, and we're going to move on to Josh Downs. But as I was saying, the Vikings played a very good game. They played a very good game today or tonight. And they really got the win that they needed because if they didn't get this win, they're going to go 2-5. and five, And they're possibly going to be selling everybody on the team at the trade deadline. So now they have to go into next week seeing how the team plays and seeing if it's still worth keeping everybody and waiting for Justin Jefferson to come back. Now, Justin Jefferson looked happy after the game. He was hyping up Kirk Cousins and everything. So that might be a good sign. Um, I just can't see the Vikings paying Justin Jefferson. I feel like they already would have if they wanted to. And they've had a history of not paying their wide receivers, especially the star ones. They had Stefan Diggs. I mean, that was a different type of situation. But they had Randy Moss as well. Somebody else that they easily could have re-signed. They just didn't want to give the money. They get antsy in terms of thinking that they have the capability to get another Randy Moss, another Justin Jefferson, another Stefan Diggs, which in the case of Stefan Diggs, they did get another wide receiver one and Justin Jefferson, but your luck is going to run out at some point. But we're going to go ahead and head into the Anthony Richardson drill and talk a little more about just the week in general coming up. We're going to go with passing skeleton this week. I don't want to do that running thing right now. But this week coming up, I think the Dolphins have to make another statement game as much as it's probably not going to matter as much because it's not the Eagles and it's not a primetime game. We still have the most difficult schedule coming up. So do the Bengals. Um, I think we just need to win as much as possible and win with ease, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But uh, that's probably going to knock us back. Oh, it's not. But yeah, the Dolphins need to do something this week and really show that they're not one to mess around with. I mean, I think the cornerbacks really do need to come back for us to be a legitimate contender. And they will. Jalen Ramsey will come back soon. I think he's supposed to be coming back either this week or next week coming up. And Teron Armstead also has to come back. It's it's our best tackle, and he got injured against the Buffalo Bills. And we haven't been able to really do a lot in the running game except out of pure skill of Raheem Mostert and Devin Aiken, who now, or Devin Aiken, who now is also injured and on the IR. So we're relying on Raheem Mostert, who can be good, and we can rely on him. It's just the line also has to be good as well. And we saw in the last game that if the line isn't doing their blocking assignments, then we're shit out of luck on the running game. We have to rely on the passing game, and that's where the Eagles usually excel with their cornerbacks. And now they just traded for Kevin Byard today from the Titans, which is insane to me because I really wasn't expecting that at all. I didn't see any rumors about that. I mean, I knew the Titans possibly were going to be shopping since Derrick Henry was being shopped. But Kevin Byard going to the Eagles just gives them a, basically another C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Last year, that was their C.J. Gardner-Johnson. And C.J. did amazing for them, but they he just didn't want to re-sign with the Eagles for some reason. Ended up disrespecting them in the offseason. But it's just insane to me that they got another safety. And we're going to stick with Silver for that one. I like how we did on the drills. Now we can go ahead and hop into this game against the New England Patriots right before the bye. And the Patriots are going to start off with the ball at home. We do have our new unis on right now. 
In the first play of the game, they're going to the flat, which I wouldn't expect anything less from Mac Jones getting a gain of eight. Of course, Mac Jones is going to go with the easy route. Nick Cross is the man I'm going to be using now that he is star development. And that's not going to help. First down. Their first first down of the day. Trying to get on Isaiah Simmons. Going to the screen. Devontae Parker sheds a tackle. Gets six when it should have only been one. Third and three. Eight minutes in the first. Devontae Parker. Getting that reception. Getting more yards and having first and ten. Also, for the people that are still here. I'm trying out a new type of recording so if it looks a little wonky whenever you're actually looking at the game i apologize um trying to figure out something in terms of making it like better quality or better accessibility in terms of editing and things like that so yeah if it looks a little wonky bear with me i'm trying out new things trying to get different things coming to the channel in terms of editing wise but that pass to Mike Kosicki got them into first and goal range. I'm just going to go down the middle because I feel like no matter what way I go, it's still going to basically be down the middle for all the defensive players. Oh my gosh. 43 could have got that. 43 could have definitely got that. But Patriots start off with the touchdown. Oh, it looks like it's going to be an offensive heavy day. Might not be the best idea possible. We, but, whoa. Whoa. Might not be the best idea possible, but we will be going with pass on the first play. Oh my gosh, there. Oh, Jonathan Taylor was getting open. I was looking at Michael Pittman Jr. first, but damn. The clock is running, and we need a first down. Trying to get it to circle, but Anthony Richardson is going to throw it inaccurately because of the pressure coming in from Christian Gonzalez. Fourth and nine. We got to punt it. what what hello what oh my gosh oh my gosh okay okay all right all right after that unfortunate set of circumstances oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i thought i was gonna be able to get that but he passed it towards the middle instead of ah uh, instead of at him damn all right second and ten there's nothing open. Let's go. Third and 10. I'll take it. I would rather the sack, but I'll take it. All right. Third and 10. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. Running it on third down. Looks like Matt Patricia is still the offensive coordinator. Fourth and one. And they're going to go for the field goal. Interesting choice. Going to go with the run play on the first play. Found some space on the right side. Got six yards. Going to go pass now. I'm gonna stick with the play that we're on. I like the Texas for Jonathan. I did not expect Kyle Duggar to be down the middle. I thought he was gonna be up top. First and ten. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Thank you. One of their offensive linemen is injured. Thank God. Second and six. That's a touchdown. 17 to 0 early in the game gonna go run again we might as well go run this entire drive because that's only that's been like the only positive that we've had on these drives and a gain of eight by jonathan taylor could have been more but there was a little bit of a mix-up i was trying to get it off and now we get back to third and 11 there we go what a dot what a dot let's go no huddle we got to pick up the pace Let's go screen. Let's go screen. I like a good screen. I like a good screen. I like a good screen. Let's go. First down. Okay, another pass play. I like the tight ends. Never mind. I like Jonathan Taylor getting me some yards at least. Second and seven. 40 seconds left in the first as Jonathan Taylor is going to get space and get the first touchdown of the day. It's about time. It's about time we got a touchdown. Just need stops now. The offense has woken up. Now we just need a defense too as well. Get him down. He gets the first. 
Kendrick Bourne is injured though. That's great for us. Oh, it's a play action. Had me convinced. First down. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me, bro. They can't stop getting open. You gotta be kidding me. That went right over me. Oh my gosh. Play action. Touchdown. My god. First and ten. Looking for anything. There we go. What a dot. Isaiah McKenzie. Get it done. We got to get things going. Come on, Anthony. Come on, Anthony. He is wide open. Come on, Anthony. It's definitely man to man. Or zone man, at least. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I can't be everywhere. I, I, I can't be everywhere. I really can't. I really can't be everywhere. Motion left, but he went right. We can't stop him before the first. Why did I know it was going to go left? Get over oh here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Quitty pay! Third and 13! Oh god, thank you. Thank you. Fourth and 13. They're not in field goal range. We're going to get the ball back. We have to execute, bro. Come on. First and 10. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I like the yardage. I like the yardage. Let's get it going. Third and six. Good. Good job. Good job holding on to that Mallory. Let's go. First and 10. All right, I can stop holding my breath after that. I'm looking for Michael Pittman. Look at that. Look at God. Pass interference. Let's go. Let's go. I like to see it. Let's go. See, that's why. That's exactly why. That's exactly why. Let's go. Let's go, Jonathan Taylor. Come on, baby. Need a big stop on this drive. It could really mean all the difference. And DeForest Buckner gets knocked off like he's some bitch. And it's second and nine. Imagine DeForest Buckner getting in and getting pushed out the way. That would never happen. That would never happen. That's mine. Thank you. You're so predictable, Mac Jones. You are so predictable. You are so predictable. It's insane. Thank you, Isaiah Simmons, for being a fiend. Feels good to have some good field position. That's for sure. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what that was. I really don't know what that was. Second and 10. Two minutes and 30 left in the second. There we go. Jonathan Taylor. Great blocking by Jelani. Great blocking by Jelani Woods. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Change the formation. We're going inside zone before the two minute warning. Oh, we get to the two. We get to the two right before the two minute warning. I like where we're at. This could work out. This could definitely work out, but it also has a chance to not at the four. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Oh my gosh, Matthew Judon got in quick. Damn, we gotta go for the field goal. We need points. Hopefully that last interception will make Mac Jones second guess himself a lot. Cause that's ideally what we want him to do. Nothing's there. Nothing is there. How, thank you. Thank you for not giving them that BS Madden. My gosh, I would have definitely did something to me. That would have definitely did something to me if it ended up working out in their favor. No, Mac Jones is not accurate enough to make that pass. Third and 10. I can't imagine they go run. But at the same time, it's the Patriots. What did I say? 
What did I say? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> what did I say? It's so insane. They're so, like, stupid. I, I, is Matt Patricia still the offensive coordinator on Madden? Because I know Bill o Is Bill O'Brien the one for the Patriots right now? I think so. Here we go. A minute 10 to get a touchdown to tie up the game before the half. We need it. Great pass. Mm. Gotta call no huddle, though. Gotta call no huddle, though. Here we go. Great pass again. Great pass again. Had to get out of bounds. Let's go. That's out of bounds. Okay. Red zone scissors. Gives us a great chance for Jonathan Taylor to get open. Let's go. Jonathan Taylor. A fiend of a man. A fiend of a man getting us to the 13-yard line. Jonathan Taylor has his X Factor. I'm going to try to do a screen, but I'm not going to force it. There we go. Fuck. He lost his X Factor. No, he didn't. I got it off. I got it off. I fucking got it off, bro. I fucking got it off. That is so insane to me. Oh my gosh, I got it off. Oh my gosh, I got it off. A dot. A fucking dot by Anthony Richardson. Let's go, baby. Come on. You fucking fiend, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm about to have a fucking oh, headache. Oh my gosh. What a dot by Anthony Richardson. I really didn't think he was capable of doing that, but the second I saw the trajectory of that, I knew it was going to Isaiah McKenzie. I knew it wasn't going to be overthrown. What a throw, Anthony Richardson. Good job. There's going to be nothing. Oh, I thought somebody caught it. We have full momentum right now because we're getting the ball at half. We need to get a touchdown to take that lead. Never mind. I'll just take the short route. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. 15 yards. Michael Pittman and Taylor's route might clash, but we'll have to see. Could have gotten it to McKenzie or Downs. No, that's McKenzie, but was about to get sacked. Jonathan Taylor's X Factor went away, I guess, since I threw it out of bounds. I don't know why his went away specifically. Good pat down by Matthew Judon. Third and 10. We got to get a first. All right, we'll punt it. Second and 11. Need another stop. I want to be able to get the lead first in this half. Let's go. Get him down. That's all I need. I'm not even trying to hit stick him. Third and five. Eight minutes left in the third. All right, we're motioning or we're flipping, so we'll motion the other way. No way. No way that's a first. Let's go. Fourth and one. You're not going for it, Bill Belichick. A read option might be risky, but I think I'm willing to take it. And we're going with Jonathan Taylor. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan Kelly. Thank you so much for picking that up. I don't trust you right now, Jonathan Taylor. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not. What the fuck was that pass? What the fuck was that pass? You go from throwing a great pass at the end of the first half to throwing that piece of shit. I'm going to be on the vert hook. Ah, uh, la come pinga. Fuck, man. First and ten. I meant to come up. 31 to 24. Might be stupid, but we're doing it again. Second and seven. Great blocking. We get the first. That's all I need. That's all I need. Five minutes left in the third. Gives me more of an option. Can you please? For the love of God, Anthony Richardson. Oh my gosh. What? Huh? 
that's that's outrageous that's actually stupid that's actually stupid wow way to throw down a grown-ass man deforest buckner getting the tfl after his teammate got thrown down three minutes oh let's go fourth and six cole strange another lineman getting injured for them First and 10. Going to triangle. Joshua Downs getting the first down. Four interceptions is crazy. Great blocking. Oh my God. Jonathan Taylor, you f fucking fiend, bro. Oh my gosh. What caused you to do that to them? He spun out, broke like four different tackles at once, and just got through. <laughs> That's insane. That is insane. First and ten. Gotta get him down. Jesus. At the 50. Let's go. Let's go with the sack. The Forrest Buckner coming in clutch. Trying to run out at least a third quarter clock. That would be great. There we go. Jelani staying in bounds. First and ten. And we're going to head into the fourth with a fresh set of downs. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Jonathan Taylor is becoming a monster. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're trying to run out as much clock as possible anyways. Right down the middle. Cut up. Cut up. Cut up. Cut up. Let's go. Let's go. We like to see it. I am feeding Jonathan Taylor. I am going to feed Jonathan Taylor. Get positive yards. That's all I need. 143 yards on the day. They want me to keep doing it, and I don't mind it. Halfback slam. Let's go. Okay. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Ah, damn. Fourth and four. Do I go for it? Or do I go for the tie? I want to go for it. I want to go for it. May seem stupid. Uh, but it's not. But it's not. But it's not. That's the thing. It's not. It's not because I planned that. Because I planned us getting the touchdown regardless. Regardless. Come on, bro. All right. Now we officially have the lead, a four-point lead. Going into the bye week with the win would be great. The Forrest Buckner got in. They got the TFL. This defense is waking up, and so is the offense. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Why, throwing it out on third down is insane, but I'll take it. Fourth and 11. Let's run out this clock. And if I'm trusting anybody, it's Jonathan Taylor with the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Second and one. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Four minutes and 36 seconds left. The clock did stop with us getting out of bounds, but that's fine. Second and nine. First down. And more! Oh my gosh, the spin move. Let's go! Still gonna run it. Not necessarily concerned. Fourth and four. We'll let it run down to the two-minute warning. Bruce Sternum. All right, Josh Downs, take a spot. The Patriots very well do still have a chance. It's just they need to get a touchdown, and that'll only tie the game regardless. So, pick your poison. QB draw. Are they idiots? Give me my ball back. You're 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 actually a buffoon. Like you're actually stupid. You're actually. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. I wish I could say more words that relate to stupid. But you, like, you really thought running towards DeForest Buckner with Mac Jones was going to help you. I'm just glad we beat the Patriots. As a Dolphins fan, I'm glad we beat the Patriots. I never want to see the Patriots win in my life again. In my lifetime, I don't want to see the Patriots ever win again. 41-34. A great win. A great moral victory. Jonathan Taylor really showed out today running-wise. Anthony Richardson was iffy. He picked it up. And then he dropped it again, and then he picked it back up again. So, uh, uh, you can take it as you wish. You can take it as you wish. But that's going to be game. Let me kick a field goal. Uh, never mind. 41-34. And your Indianapolis Colts finally win a game once again after going on a losing streak these past, like, what? Three, four games? Got a good amount of franchise points this week. Of course, we didn't get the 14 points or less, but everything else we were able to hit on. We do have Josh Downs and Anthony Richardson getting upgrades, so that's good. Josh Downs could get slot, but I'm going to put it on Playmaker for this week or this time that he gets his upgrade. A lot of upgrades. Catching, juke move, medium route, spin move, bunch of different stuff. Hopefully, he can get a development trait soon. And the only other one that I really care about is Anthony Richardson. No, not Tyquan Lewis. Anthony Richardson and everybody else is going to be auto upgraded, but man, does he need a better arm? Field general, got to be up to a 74. Throw accuracy deep, throw accuracy short. It's needed. It's it's needed. The the times that I get pissed off just because of his accuracy alone with no pressure at all really irks me but next week is the bye week so we're gonna see what we're gonna have to handle in our bye week we are four and six and we're facing the bucks coming off the bye week so that is a pretty difficult matchup but we have to see how that goes a great week for the indianapolis colts not so great for richardson still four picks on the day but we gotta we gotta fix that we gotta fix that but jonathan taylor is doing his thing he's helping as much as possible josh downs great rookie wide receiver we have to see what we're going to do in week 11 and try to plan out the offseason beforehand but if you did enjoy please go down there and like so more people can see it so this can come out more frequently it is going to be out more frequently for this week maybe next week as well and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of this franchise series we're probably going to be trying to push for the super bowl maybe even this year maybe next year because we are four and six right now but again i will see you in the next video. Peace.